Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing our favorite homeschool fall and winter seasonal read. So grab a cup of coffee or tea and let's chat about it. Okay, so if you know me, you know that my favorite season is winter and you know that fall is like a very close second. November is in fact my favorite month, but my favorite season is winter and it's just the season of cuddling and slowing down and reading. So I have a bunch of books. Some of them are brand new. Some of them I've never shared on this channel and some of them are just tried and true. Gotta mention them every time. Most of these, except one, are for the kids, but I do have one for you, mama, that I would love to share. Now, this is a book that I reread almost every fall guaranteed. Like this book, huh, it just, it talks about gathering. It talks about coming together. It talks about serving your family, your community, through food and through togetherness. And so the one book for you that I really want you to read this fall and winter if you haven't is The Life Giving Table by Sally Clarkson. My goodness. This book, as you can see, I have, I read it with The Womanhood. The first year I started The Womanhood, we read this. Now, some ladies absolutely hated it and some ladies absolutely loved it. Um, the ladies who didn't love it, I think it's because they just weren't in that season to, to read it. And I do think books are like timely, right? But if you're in a season where you are wanting to um, make your home warm, make your home a resting place for your children, for your husband, for your community. If you're wanting to serve them through food and, and restore and encourage people over a lovely meal, then this is the book that I suggest you read this fall and winter. When I read this book, I was in that season where I really needed that. And so this book just has a special place in my heart. I'm gonna link this and all the other books down below. If you read this book, please let me know. Please DM me on Instagram or email me and let's chat about it because I love this book. So I'm gonna start with an oldie but a goodie. If you have, I mean my 10 year old even kind of likes this still. She'll do it with her brothers. But if you have like third grade and under little learners, you need if you go down into the woods today, this is such a beautiful kind of seek and find book. It has more than a hundred things to find. If you guys just like take a look at this cover, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, oh, and then every page is equally as gorgeous. It actually goes through every season. So it goes through winter, spring, summer, and fall. Each page is a different adventure and you can just seek and find with your little ones literally all morning. We will pick this up and this is what we will do all morning sometimes. So highly recommend this one. Okay, now we're gonna go into autumn specifics. It is the autumn treasury of recipes crafts and wisdom. Now this book is new to our collection and I actually have a winter one too that I'll show you a little bit later. This is such a beautiful book. It's made in the UK and it's made out of 100% recyclable material, which is awesome. This has autumn crafts, autumn recipes, autumn activities, autumn wisdom. It's just a great book, especially again, if you have those younger learners, this is for you. If you are like Montessori um, kind of style, this book is for you. Get this book, you will not be disappointed. I cannot wait to have fun specifically with Teo. Um, I did everything in this book kind of naturally with Titus and Journey, but to actually have this book and to go through it with Teo is gonna be really fun. So you cannot teach your children about the harvest season without having We Gather Together. This is a whole mini unit study in itself. It talks about 
the harvest season. It talks about why we celebrate. It talks about historical traditions that other cultures would do to celebrate the harvest moon. It is just absolutely stunning. I also have the winter version of this, which you will see. A lot of these are series, which you guys know I'm a sucker for series when I find a book that I like. But my favorite part about this series is how it brings in other cultures. So like it talks about what Japan does during the harvest season, what they do in Nigeria, and it just goes on and on English and on and on in America. And it's just beautiful. So I highly recommend this book if you're doing anything that is focused on like the harvest season or a harvest mini unit study. This is all you need. Another one to know is The Harvest Moon. This is a beautiful story about The Harvest Moon as well. It actually would pair very well with We Gather Together. You could use this uh, for your unit study base and then you could pull this book in for a read aloud. Now the next book pairs two of my favorite things, the fall time and trees. So in Countdown to Fall, you go through the woods and you go through different trees and their leaves and you learn all about them. It's really fascinating. Um, the illustrations are quite lovely as well. Like, look at that. It's just gorgeous. And then my favorite thing about this book is actually all the education resources that you have in the back. So highly recommend this book, Countdown to Fall. It's super fun. This is one of Teo's favorite. Another book that is just so perfect for November is In November. This is just such a beautiful story about what happens in November and what you notice in November. And I used to read this to my little learners and we would then, we would read this and then look outside and look into our own lives. And I would ask them, you know, what do you notice in November? What happens to your world in November? So this is a beautiful book again, really really beautiful illustrations look at these little kittens so cute okay this one i found this last year and it's one of our favorites now if you are anything like me and if you grew up watching the macy day thanksgiving parade then you need balloons over broadway this is the true story of the puppeteer of the macy's parade this book was just absolutely fascinating so so like I said, I grew up watching the Macy Day Thanksgiving Parade and now in my house, my kids grow up watching the Macy Day Thanksgiving Parade and it, to know the story behind it was just fascinating and it really took our love for the Macy Day Thanksgiving Parade to a whole nother level. This too could be used as a mini unit study during Thanksgiving time. I think that would be fabulous, especially for your older learners. All right, let's get into the winter season. My absolute favorite winter book, this explains why I love winter. This book, I'm not kidding, like it's my favorite winter book and it is Winter is the Warmest Season. That's right, not the coldest, the warmest. This is such a beautiful ode to winter, to coziness, to all things cold. And usually people just complain so much about winter and how it's not summer and i think that this book just does such a beautiful job saying wait a minute wait a minute no winter is beautiful hot soups hot pies and oven hot breads make winter the warmest for the inside of me <laughs> oh it's just so beautiful it's so beautiful um if you're someone who's trying to love winter and trying to fix your heart towards winter get this book read it to your babies cuddle up and look at the good parts of winter you cannot just like you cannot celebrate the harvest season without we gather together you cannot celebrate the winter solstice without the shortest day celebrating the winter solstice this one again it's just like the we gather together it's created by the same people and it's so beautiful because it too goes to like how people used to be terrified when winter came they didn't understand where the sun was going they were terrified they thought everything was gonna be cold and all of our traditions that we do are actually a way to celebrate like no there's hope <laughs> like, it's not it's it you know it's not the end it's just 
winter. And so this book is great if you're gonna do like a winter solstice um, unit study, highly, highly recommend this one. And then to go with that autumn treasury, we have a winter treasury of recipes, crafts, and wisdom. Highly recommend this one. Again, these two, this is what I would do. I would pair these two for my first graders and under. I think that this would be fun. This is very hands-on. A lot of fun, young learning ideas and um, information. And then for my second grade and up or however you wanna do it, I would do these two. I think this would be fun for the older learners to really dive in deeper into what makes autumn autumn, what makes fall fall, and why do we celebrate each of them. This next one is just so beautiful to me. I think it's a beautiful, illustration of winter spring summer and fall and how they all need each other um this is sleep tight farm and it is a journey of a family who owns a farm and it takes you from them like harvesting everything in the summer late summer early fall saving everything for like the farmer's market putting the farm to sleep for winter and really celebrating inside during the winter season. I just think it's beautiful. The illustrations are absolutely stunning. Like, can this be my home? Thank you, please and thank you. This one is just a beautiful read aloud for your young learners. And then lastly, this is my favorite Christmas book. I think it's a beautiful illustration of poetry. You guys know we love poetry. And celebrating specifically African American Christmases. And it is called Under the Christmas Tree by Nikki Grimes, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. And I thrifted this. And I'm so happy I did because I can never find it on thrift books, on Amazon. You can't find this anywhere. Um, but I wanted to mention it in case you can get your hands on it because it is beautiful. I use this as an advent book for my children. We read one poem a day because there's about 25 pages, 25 poems in here. And they're just so beautiful. Um, let me see. Like, come on, the holiday window. Are you kidding me? There's a saxophone player. Oh, the angel at the top of the tree. This is like a book that's just so unique to our winter experience. And that's what I want to know in the comments down below. What books in your family really tie up autumn or really tie up winter? What books in your household are a vital part to these seasons and how we change with them and how we celebrate them for what they are. Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Click that subscribe button if you haven't. Give this video a big thumbs up. Tell all your friends about us and we'll be back again with another video soon. Bye guys.